Hello. You're just in time to see me make some soy-free, gluten-free, vegan meat substitutes. Um, I'm going to make two kinds tonight. Uh, one is, I call it the buck bean burgers, and the other one is buck bean sausage. They're very simple. They only include, have five ingredients. Uh, and let's see what I do. Both recipes start with a can of beans. For the sausage, I use pinto beans. And for the burgers, I use black beans. You also need a teaspoon of better than bouillon, or a cube of bouillon, or a can of broth. Now I cheated. This is actually a beef base, but you really could use any type, uh, ve vegetarian or vegan or any other kind you want. Start heating your beans over medium heat uh, until they're nice and soft. Now for the sausage, there's a couple other ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need more salt, because sausage should be salty. I don't know exactly how much, just kind of guess. And the secret ingredient to make sausage taste like sausage is fennel seed. Just start tossing some in. No idea how much this is. Every time it's slightly different. But it's quite a bit of them. Once the beans are nice and soft, you're going to want to blend them with either an immersion blender or with uh, a blender. So I'm going to try this, see how it works. Okay, when you're done, it should have the consistency of refried beans. And by the way, these do make excellent refried beans if you want to stop right here. The next step is a half cup of oats, a half cup of water, and then a half cup of creamy buckwheat hot cereal. Um, we get the Bob's Red Mill. It's, it's buckwheat, but it's a uh, special cut of it. Uh, you can find it at health food stores. You might be able to find it at your regular grocery store. Um, yeah, just look for it. See if you can find it. At this point, start turning it down to uh, low heat or medium low. Uh, stir it all together. It should be starting to get relatively thick. Once it's well stirred, cover both pans and let sit for about 10 minutes. Stir occasionally. Okay, at the end of the 10 minutes, take the lids off, remove them from the heat. And let's sit for a while. They're going to look something like that. What you're going for is a consistency something like hamburger. One way to cool it down faster is instead of letting it sit uh, nice and flat, mix it up like this so that there's more exposed surface area and that will cool it down a little bit faster. Once it's cool enough to handle, it'll also be less sticky, and that's the stage we want it to be in. For the next step, you're going to want to get uh, about that much uh, stuff into your hand. We're just going to call it uh, hamburger. You can put that much hamburger into your hand, and you're going to flatten it out into essentially a hamburger. And when you're done, you should have something that looks a lot like a hamburger patty. So put that on a uh, ungreased cookie sheet. I'm just putting aluminum foil on there because we like to keep our pans clean. And you repeat until you use up all the meat. And the 
nice thing is even is that even though it has the consistency of raw hamburger, how um, you can eat it. The final stage is to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the burgers. It just helps them to keep from drying out. So they just kind of rub it in a little bit. From there, uh, you could add a little bit of uh, whatever seasoning that you would regularly put on a burger. And then you preheat the oven for 350 degrees. Once the oven is preheated, you take them, stick them in, and let them cook for 10 to 15 minutes. And while we're waiting for the hamburgers to get done, we're going to make some sausage. For the sausage, you take your sausage meat, make them into little balls like so, or even maybe slightly smaller like that. Um, you can either round them out, depending on how you like your sausage, or you can just leave it uh, rough like so. And you do this about a hundred times. Next, you're going to want to heat up some of your favorite cooking oil in a uh, medium to large pan. We love coconut oil for, for frying. It tastes really good. To test the heat, take a little piece of the, the meat and stick it in. It should start sizzling when you put it in. Okay, that's good. Then take some of your sausage, maybe half of it, and start frying it up in your coconut oil. Try and get them evenly coated on all sides. And when they're brown to your liking, just put them into a bowl and get yourself some good old yummy, yummy meat. Once they're done cooking, you can also add a little extra spice if you choose to. Just depends on the way you like your sausage. And check and see if your burgers look done. They're already pre-cooked since they're just made of those other ingredients. So you just basically cook them until they look like they're ready to be done. And you got yourself your burgers and your sausage. There you go. Vegan, gluten-free, soy-free burgers and sausage. How? Good stuff. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye!